The Silent Symphony of Existence Once upon a time, in the ancient land of Japan, there was a quaint temple nestled amongst the rolling hills and serene landscapes. The temple was home to a Zen master named Sosun and his disciples. Sosun was highly revered for his wisdom and teachings, which drew followers from afar. One day, a young monk named Kaito arrived at the temple. He was a seeker, always questing for the enlightenment that seemed to elude him. Kaito had studied under various masters, yet the answers he sought remained hidden in the shadows of his consciousness. Kaito approached Sosun with a humble bow, Master Sosun, I have traveled far, seeking the truth. Yet, all I have found is confusion and disillusionment. Will you guide me to enlightenment? Sosun, an old man with a warm smile, looked at Kaito with kind eyes. The path to enlightenment is not a destination, Kaito. It is a journey. A journey that you have already embarked on. For many moons, Kaito studied under Sosun, absorbing his teachings like a parched desert absorbs the first rain. Yet, enlightenment seemed as distant as ever. One day, Sosun took Kaito to a large cherry blossom tree that stood in the temple courtyard. Kaito, what do you see? asked Sosun. I see a cherry blossom tree, master, replied Kaito. And what else? prodded Sosun. Kaito looked again, I see beautiful pink flowers, some in full bloom. Others still in bud. I see leaves moving in the wind, and a strong trunk that supports the tree. Sosun smiled, you have described the tree well, Kaito. But you have only seen the tree as an entity, not as a part of the whole. The tree is not separate from the earth that nourishes it. The sun that gives it light, or the rain that quenches its thirst. It is not separate from the wind that carries its seeds or the birds that rest on its branches. In its existence, the tree is in a constant dialogue with the universe. Can you hear this dialogue, Kaito? Kaito closed his eyes and listened. At first, all he heard was silence. But as he continued to focus, he started to perceive the subtle sounds of the universe. The rustling leaves, the chirping birds, the wind's whisper, the distant sound of a flowing river. All blending into a silent symphony of existence. Kaito opened his eyes, a hint of realization dawned on him, Master, I understand now. The tree is not just a tree. It is an expression of the universe. Each part of it, each moment of its existence, is interconnected with everything else. The tree is in the universe, and the universe is in the tree, he said. Sosun nodded approvingly, yes, Kaito. And so it is with us. We are not separate from the universe. We are expressions of it. Our thoughts, our actions, our very existence is interconnected with everything else. We are in the universe, and the universe is in us. From that day forward, Kaito's perspective changed. He started to see the interconnectedness of all things. He saw that he was not separate from others, but rather, a part of a vast, intricate web of existence. He started to understand that his quest for enlightenment was not about reaching a destination but about realizing his true nature and the nature of reality. His journey was about becoming aware of the silent symphony that reverberates through existence. A symphony in which he was both the musician and the listener. Kaito no longer sought enlightenment as a goal but lived it as a process. He found peace not in answers but in questions, not in certainty but in doubt, not in isolation but in connection. And in this process, he found the enlightenment he had been seeking. In the silent symphony of existence, Kaito found his Zen. Inspiration This story is an exploration of Zen philosophy and its teachings about the interconnectedness of all things. The inspiration comes from the core principles of Zen which emphasize direct, experiential realization and living in the present moment. In the story, Kaido's journey symbolizes the quest that many of us undertake in seeking meaning and understanding in our lives. Sosun's teachings about the cherry blossom tree serve as a metaphor for the interdependence of all things, reminding us that we are not separate entities but rather parts of a larger, 
interconnected whole. The story invites us to listen to the silent symphony of existence, which represents the harmonious interplay of all elements of the universe, seen and unseen. It encourages us to realize that we are both the observer and the participant in Thuniverse's dance, playing our unique part in its endless unfolding. The inspiration after reading this story comes in the form of introspection. It encourages you to reflect upon your existence, not as an isolated entity, but as an integral part of the universal tapestry. It highlights the importance of living in the present, appreciating the beauty of each moment, and understanding the interconnectedness of life. Moreover, this story inspires a shift in perspective, from seeing enlightenment as a destination to a journey. A continuous process of self-discovery and learning. It promotes the idea that peace is found not in absolute answers but in the process of questioning, in the acceptance of doubts and in the exploration of the unknown. Ultimately, the story inspires us to embrace the silent symphony of existence, to recognize our role in it, and to live in harmony with the universe, understanding that we are a part of it, and it is a part of us.